Welcome to C5. Uh, we are a specialist venture capital firm that invests in cybersecurity, artificial intelligence, and cloud. Uh, my name is Andre Pinar, and today, um, as my guest, I have Jamie Lauder Pinkerton, the chairman of the Cloud Leadership Center, our not for profit organization, who has come to have a cup of tea with me here in our boardroom. Jamie, welcome. Thank you, Andre. You've had a great many very exciting leadership roles from special forces to being the principal private secretary for Prince William and Prince Harry. Now you are leading the Cloud Leadership Center as our chairman. What drew you to this new leadership challenge? Well, I think the basic, uh, the basic thing that, that, that attracted me to it is the, is the sort of overarching question about how in a modern tech world you can use tech to the advantage of leaders rather than necessarily to be a, a, a a problem for them to manage. What I mean by that is that the, um, the the basic essence of leadership is being able to project presence at a certain point and at a certain time. With modern communications, with uh, big data, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, um, it's more difficult to do that in a funny sort of way because you've got the technology at your disposal, but it can lead you down a route of not wishing to be there yourself. Now that that is surmountable but it needs thinking through, and in the context of the Cloud Leadership Center, it needs thinking through in terms of some very important challenges facing us today. So I would say what attracted me to it is actually how you, how you adapt uh, technology to be a boon for leadership rather than necessarily being uh, a restrictor. Well, technology clearly um, enables leaders, but as you say, also technology poses great and critical challenges to, to leaders and to leadership today. And the key is to find the right balance between them. Now in the Cloud Leadership Center, we very much focused on leaders and philanthropy and enabling leaders in either not-for-profit organizations or in non-governmental organizations um, to really use technology for the benefit of their mission. And uh, would you like to share with us some of the work that we've done today? Absolutely. I mean, one of the uh, one of those sort of better examples, I think, is uh, looking at the um, International Center for uh, Missing and Exploited Children, which is uh, based in uh, in the United States. It's an extraordinary organisation which effectively supports um, law enforcement agencies and other agencies which are involved in tracing, tracking down, and hopefully bringing to safety those children who are missing or have been exploited, even worse. Now, actually, technology has transformed their operations. Um, it could have gone a different way and become confusing with just too much data piling in. But CLC, in conjunction with, uh, obviously, as part of C5, but in conjunction with our partners at AWS, have, I think, really helped to revolutionize the way of getting information in a timely way out to the people who can, who can help these uh, poor children be recovered. Um, it's a question really of, of a great deal of data being disseminated fast across the globe to where the law enforcement agents are actually going to be able to affect uh, the, sa the saving of these children. So that's a great example for us. It goes right across the board from just disseminating data through to um, face recognition technology which can enable us to spot people moving children around the world um, fast and get the, get the agencies on, onto them. So that's a very, a very good and a very, very rewarding um, bit of work that the CLC and C5 and AWS have been doing in, in, in partnership with, um, with ICMEC, as we call it, uh, who, as I say, um, I, I can't praise them enough. They're a fantastic organization. Jamie, I mean, that's a terrific example. And with you and I both being daddies, we know that um, we just can't um, sleep at night. We just can't take pause until we know that every missing child has been recovered mm -hmm. and restored to their family. And, and so this is just a, a wonderful example and wonderful work that you and the team have done. Well, thank you. And I, I mean, I just to, to reiterate that, I think it's um, I think it's easy to be fa to be phased by the scale of things. But in, in instances like missing and exploited children, you can't afford to be. You've just got to push it and push it and push it until it may seem like a, a, an impossible aspiration. The problem is solved and every child is back with his parents. 
Jamie, um, talking about great big challenges and difficult challenges and challenges that can be quite overwhelming, another very good example is um, anti-corruption. Now, the Cloud Leadership Center this year for the second time has led a global innovation challenge in this field called Shield in the Cloud to see how the uh, cloud technology and C5's knowledge about cloud technology can be used to identify the leading startups that are coming up with global solutions for the problem of corruption, um, which governments and not-for-profit organizations are being the most innovative in this field and also what global corporations are doing. Um, and uh, we're coming up to the next Shield in the Cloud um, award scale up um, uh, in the next few months. Um, how did this all come about? Well, I think it came about with some um, careful analysis and some conversations 18 months or so ago, which were looking really at, at a number of the challenges that we've been focusing on, ranging from missing children through to uh, people trafficking through to modern slavery. Underpinning all of that and more um, lies corruption. If you're operating in, a cor in, a, in an environment which is, has endemic corruption, all of these challenges, all of these ghastly things are going to be able to bubble up and, and operate with impunity. So ergo, the answer is really to address the basic problem of corruption. What we came up with, uh, we can't change the world um, in, a, in, a, in a night, but what we came up with was actually uh, holding a competition for the best small-scale innovators, looking for, those, looking for those good ideas in the technology sector uh, from it doesn't matter how big the organization in which has come up with them, which will really change the, the goalposts if, if they're given a fair wind and a bit of impetus to actually get recognition and for people to see how valuable their, their extraordinary ideas are. So that's what we did last year. It was very successful, hosted in, um, by the Institute of Peace alongside AWS and all of our other um, partners in Washington. Um, and it went really well, and it got, um, it got a lot of people, a lot of attention who, who need it and who deserve it and actually help them to project. We're doing it again on the 20th of March this year, again in Washington, which is the right place to do it. And, and last year we recognized two extraordinary startups, Ushahidi from Kenya, which has brought real transparency to um, general elections and local elections the world over, and also um, a Ukrainian startup that brought transparency to property ownership yeah. and really help to settle down this question of mm. private ownership in the Ukrainian economy. Yeah. Um, so that was terribly exciting. And then we had also gave recognition to the Special Operations Division of the Drug Enforcement Agency for their um, database for information sharing, yeah. to your point about the broader maladies related to yes. corruption. But you mentioned something that's really important yeah. and um, that I know leads on to another initiative that the Cloud Leadership Center is working on, which is um, Tech combat, combating trafficking, yeah. which is a which is a very very important initiative, particularly as uh, here in Europe um, we've seen the devastating effect of people trafficking in our broader debate about migration. Yeah, absolutely. And before I uh, say that, I think your point, your selection of the examples you just used, um, it, it it brings to the fore and hopefully gives a bit of airtime to some to three extremely extremely impressive uh, entities but it also shows the variety and the different the different approaches that one has to take whether it's in Ukraine whether it's in Kenya to do with elections or whether it's the uh, enforcement agencies in the United States a convergent approach is what's required on the uh, people trafficking side um, we we in the United Kingdom have got some good legislation on the, on the books. Um, uh, there are some uh, uh, prosecutions are happening now on a sort of daily basis, which weren't before. However, the problem, the underlying problem is immense. And it's rather like corruption. It's one of those ones which spreads across all sorts of different other uh, afflictions um, hitting mankind at the moment. Whether it's uh, the trafficking of, as we've just mentioned, um, exploited children and missing children, or whether it's um, sex workers, or whether it's people co being com coming into the country on a promise and actually being treated, treated like slaves, hence the, hence the name. So this is a, a, um, a very exciting project that's the wrong word because it's such a grim subject, 
but we're working in conjunction with um, a number of enforcement agencies, the, the legal profession, the judiciary here, which is dealing with it, and the task, for, task force from the Home Office over here, who has been to the fore in developing the, uh, the legislation to, to underpin what the, uh, the judges are now doing. Uh, I think it's, um, it's a small sort of step forward, but it's, it's, um, it's, it's a game where, where C5 and CLC can act as a catalyst for others. So that's very exciting. And we've got a series going now in London where we, where we are essentially um, holding seminars on a, on a sort of quarterly basis where we are going to go right through, hopefully, the broad spectrum of this subject drawing in all the experts and then at the end of it make concrete recommendations about how tech can enhance the various elements we've been talking about. And the tech experts, all of our contacts from C5, CLC, Amazon, are piling into these, uh, to these, um, to these seminars. So they're actually hearing the problem so that as we progress through the year, we'll be able to come up with some hard uh, recommendations from the experts at the end of it. Jamie, terrific. It was terrific to have you with us today and thank you for sharing these very exciting initiatives with us and mm. keep up the good work. Well, thank you, Andre.